Hi, I'm from Second G, and today we are here to prepare the dye solar sensitized cell. Now we go to the group who has done the paste. We have produced this paste with titanium oxide in nanopowder, nitric acid, and uh, some drops of polyethylene glycol. Okay, now we go to the group who has prepared the glass. As a surface, uh, we have uh, used uh, the um, bioxide tin and, and uh, indium glass, and then uh, we have uh, looked uh, for a conductivity surface uh, with the tester. Finally, we have uh, stuck uh, stuck uh, uh, on the working table the glasses, and um, we have uh, covered it with the titanium oxide. Okay, let's go to the group who has prepared the condenser glass. We put uh, some carbon on a glass and uh, we burn it uh, with a candle. Okay, uh, let's go to the group who has prepared the electronic solution. Well, we have, we have made an um, electronic electrolytical solution with potassium iodide and iodine in the balance. Okay, this group has prepared the natural dye. Here we have produced a natural dye with berries and then we, we have filtered the, the, this solution to eliminate the remains. Okay, and finally this group have, has used the, the oven. Here we are heating the glasses at 450 degrees for 20 minutes for sintering. Now that we have taken out the glass from the oven, we can cover it with our extract of berries. Now the electrolytic solution. Now the conductivity glass. Now that the cell is assembled, uh, we go to see if it yeah. works. Now, we attach the cell to this tester to see if it actually works. Now that we are under the sun, you can see that the voltage is of 412 millivolts. If I cover it, you can see the voltage lowers down to, to zero if I keep it covered. And if I, if I, if I un uncover it, it... Uh, it, it, it goes back to where it was first, so you can see it, it works.